Hi everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus and today I wanted to just show you real quickly how you could uninstall and find a legacy version of the Silhouette Studio software to install back on your computer. Now there are many, many reasons that you might want to do this or you might need to do this. Um, sometimes it can be because your computer couldn't handle a current version that was released. Sometimes that you encounter a bug that would interrupt your workflow. Um, there are all kinds of reasons where a user may want to revert the software to an older legacy version. Now, it will depend on what machine model of Silhouette machine you have on how far back you can go. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is for Mac users, you can only go back for a certain period of time um, because if you are using a 64-bit Mac, because Mac is not compatible um, backwards to 32 bit. So it will vary for users depending on what current Silhouette model machines they have and what whether they're using a Windows or a Mac computer. Now I will say here I'm going to show Windows users how they can uninstall and reinstall a legacy version. Mac users you have it a little bit easier. You can have multiple versions installed on your computer very easily. You just want to make sure to go and change the name in your applications folder so you can tell which one you are opening. If you have a version that is really not working for you, I would delete it from your computer. Um, but I'm going to show uh, for a Windows user how to uninstall and then I will also show where you can find those legacy versions because it has changed on the Silhouette website. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close my Silhouette software. I'm gonna give you an inside look at my desktop for just a second. Um, it is messy and I put a lot of things out here. But on a Windows computer, you're gonna find the search bar. Um, depending on if you're on Windows 11 or older, your search bar may be in different locations. Um, some users also have their Windows taskbars on the right or the left side. Um, each computer can be customized how you want it. So mine is in the bottom. I'm going to click the little search bar and I'm going to choose uninstall. And then what that's going to do is it will bring up your add or remove programs section on your computer. I'm going to click on that. And then it's going to bring up a list of programs on my computer. Now I'm going to show you what you would do if you were going to uninstall it. I am not going to uninstall mine, but I'm going to walk you through what you do. So you're going to come all the way down here to find the Silhouette Studio, Silhouette Studio software. You'll notice on mine I have a couple different things. I have what's called a Silhouette Link. That is something that's an older software thing. Um, you don't need to worry about that any longer. I have it on my computer because I'm a beta tester. And so for some versions that I have on the computer, that is part of the program. You'll also see I have Silhouette Model Maker here. You want to make sure that you're uninstalling the Silhouette Studio software and nothing else. So make sure that you have found the correct one. You can see here I'm on Windows 11, so it's showing me some information. Again, depending on your um, Windows operating system, which one you're on, it's it may show just a little bit different. So when you get here, you're going to have options. Again, depending on your Windows um, operating system, it may look a little different. You can click these little, three little dots on Windows 11 and you can choose uninstall. And then your computer is going to uninstall that from its hard drive. After you've done that, it's always a good idea to come up here on on my desktop, my recycle bin shows up here, you could empty that recycle bin so that it's now gone. The next thing I'm going to go out here, I'm going to click on my little, um, I'm using Google Chrome, and I'm going to type in the Silhouette America website. And then this is where things have changed. So it's a little more difficult to find those legacy versions. So I'm going to click on software at the top, and this is silhouetteamerica.com software, get software, and then I'm going to, for older legacy versions, I'm going to click learn more. If you click download right here, that's going to download the current version. This particular one was just released last week as of the recording of this video. 
If you want a legacy version, you want to click on Learn More, and then you want to click Download Legacy Versions. And then it's going to pop up and it's going to show you all the legacy versions there are available. Depending on your issue that you are currently experiencing, that determines what version I would recommend for you. So it is not the same for all users. So when I am troubleshooting somebody who's had a problem, there are many, there's several questions that I will ask. The first one is, which Silhouette model machine do you have and use? Are you on Windows or Mac? What issue were you having? Because that will determine how far back you need to go before that issue was in place. For instance, if you were not able to do print bleed, that was an issue and a bug in the 4.4.9 XX series. So any of the nine series, the print bleed was not working. I'm not quite sure about 8.9.5. If print bleed was the option, I would suggest 4.4.554 that you go back to because that's the one I know that it worked in. So I don't have a specific version for everybody. I do know that 4.4.554 was a pretty darn good version. And that's typically what I recommend to people at the moment. But again, it will depend on your machine. Some users could go back all the way to use an older version even still. So 4.3.370 was a good version as well. However, some of the Cameo 4, if you have a Plus or a Pro or a Portrait 3, you can't use that version. So it really depends. You can click on these release notes here. And if I click on 4.4.554 release notes, it's gonna tell me what was in that. Now, some users aren't gonna understand any of that. Um, or most of it. Some of it is written. I don't even understand it. Um, but you can see what has been implemented in that particular version. I mention that because if I come over here and I go back to certain versions, let's see if I can pick the right one. It's going to tell me it had Portrait 3 support. So I know that a Portrait 3 user has to use a version of software that's 4.4.259 or higher or they will not be able to access their machine. So all of this information is available to all users. It is the release notes. If I come up here to the current version that was released um, last week, looks like they've adjusted some of it. Um, actually, this is the latest version. They're gonna release a beta version. So this is the version here that was released last week. The date is a little bit off. Um, they have it as released on the 16th, but I think it came out more like on the 21st for us to download. So you can see here that there is quite a few changes in that version. And then some of these changes that were implemented, I reported a few bugs, and that is why they released this 4.5.155. Um, it will be coming out soon, probably by the time most people view this video, um, but that was to add a few fixes here that I had reported about issues and others had reported about issues on the version 0.152. So I hope that helps give you a little bit of a glimpse. Again, if you are a Windows user, you will need to uninstall your software and then reinstall a legacy version. If you do not, it's going to tell you that a higher level version is already in place. So you have to uninstall it from your Windows computer and then you can reinstall a legacy version. Now, if I come back here, I'm gonna show you something else. When you click download legacy, if I were to click download, it's going to download to your computer and then you're gonna double click on that file and install it. Windows users, you need to watch your bottom taskbar here. There is going to be a Windows shield. It's not a silhouette thing. It's a Windows shield that asks you if you want to proceed. And sometimes it can be two or three that pop up. It used to be that it would just pop up and flash in front of you. That's no longer with the way Windows works. It's going to show up here in the bottom taskbar as a flashing shield. It will not proceed until you approve all of those flashing pop-ups. Hopefully that's helped give you a little bit more. If you have questions at all, please pop those down into the comments below. And I wish you happy cutting with your silhouette.
Have a great day. Thank you.